New at 6, a Charlotte mom searching for a woman she's calling an angel. It's a story you have to hear to believe. The woman says over the weekend her toddler became wedged in a grocery store shopping cart and had to be cut free using the jaws of life. And during the whole ordeal, she says a stranger stopped to help and kept her little girl occupied and calm while store employees and firefighters worked to free her. And now she is trying to find her to thank her. NBC Charlotte's Ashley Daly has more on this incredible story. Well, firefighters typically use the jaws of life to save people trapped in cars, but this past weekend, something many had never seen before. These massive blades used to free a toddler from a grocery store car. It was supposed to be a quick five minute shopping trip. And so I was like, oh, you don't need your seatbelt. We're just going to be in and out. This past weekend, I mom Virginia Moore says she was inside the Ray Farms Harris Teeter in South Charlotte. Her three year old helping to steer a car just like this one when what was supposed to be a quick trip to the grocery store turned into a lesson that will last a lifetime. I turn around for maybe all of like a second and she has somehow wedged herself underneath the race car seat. Moore admits her daughter was not yeah. buckled in. And so when she bent down, this knee got jammed underneath the green seat. Moore says Harris Teeter employees first tried disassembling the cart with tools, but when that didn't work, firefighters answered the call, cutting the three-year-old out of the cart with the jaws of light. Moore says the true hero is a stranger who stopped to help, spending more than 20 minutes occupying the toddler's attention while rescue crews worked to free her. Had it not been for her, I think she would. I think Emerson would have been hysterical. But Moore says the woman left before she could properly thank her. And so you just want her to know. I'm just grateful. She was so kind and that was really appreciated. And Emerson, she kept her so calm. Moore says a Harris Teeter employee also gave her daughter a toy. Overcome with gratitude, she's now sharing her story, hoping to save other moms from making the same mistake. They do have a seat belt on those shopping carts for a reason, to so make sure that I use them. Reporting in South Charlotte, Ashley Daly, NBC Charlotte. Wow. So I had my daughter at dance next door when this was happening. One of the moms went over to Harris Teeter to get coffee and she came back. She was like a little girl, got her leg stu stuck in a cart and all of a sudden then we saw ambulance and fire trucks. But I didn't realize they had to use the jaws of life on her. That is crazy. And all it took was a second for her little girl to get into that predicament. A second, but we know with kids how quickly that can happen. Yeah, so easy.